Hello guys, today we're gonna try and fix a uh, quick volt 9 that shows error 7 on the display. It doesn't do anything. And I started diagnosing by uh, measuring if we have power to the sensors, to the motor sensors and I found out that we don't have power going to the motor, to the sensors actually, between negative which is black and positive which is red. We should have had some voltage, about 4 to 5 volts, but there is nothing, absolutely nothing. So now I'm forced to believe that the problem isn't at this end, although it looks bad and it there's some pinched cable over here. It's the thick green wire that's uh, pinched, but I don't think that's the problem. The problem might lie somewhere inside. So we're gonna open that up and see what's happening over there. Hmm. That's cute. That's really cute. So these are the wires from the... Oh, come on. Everything is disconnected. Someone else has been into this? Has been poking around into this? Uh, I know what happened. The guy had a problem with the back tire. He changed the back tire. Uh, and uh, I assume that they pulled out the cable too much. Trying to fix the... Trying to change the back tire. They, they pulled on the cable too much. Let's just hope that is the only problem. It would be one of my easiest fixes ever. But of course, they are, there are two bolts here. And uh, most probably, I'm gonna have a hard time getting the, the, the connectors to go where I need them to go, to go over these bolts. Come on, come on, nope. Nope. Something. Nope. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna remove this plastic cover so I can see a little bit better, but and I can extract this so I can arrange it as I please, as I need it to. There's a bolt here. And the nice thing about this is that it can be remo removed in sections. So it's it's about uh, the half. It's uh, split in two. So you can remove only the side that you need. <laughs> hmm, that's kind of fighting me.
Okay. This is horrible. And I, I know for a fact that this doesn't work anymore, anyhow. Okay. Where is it stuck? I might be forced to remove or at least uh, I might need to unscrew just a little bit these screws if I can find the right tool. them back in. Hmm. There's a loose bolt over here. Come on, focus. Over here. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't matter. You'll have to trust me. Okay, let's find the right tool and tighten it. these in the right spot through come on you can do this loose also okay let's check of course that's tight that's tight okay got one more over here that is that size battery Hey, what do you know? No more error. Let's see. Woo! It wants to go. So yeah, seems that it seems that it was the only that was the only issue with it. So that was a really quick fix. It didn't require changing parts, not yet, because. Uh, we'll we'll have to change something on it, but not in this episode. We're gonna have to change this this ring. It's 
it's broken. Someone tightened very, very strange this uh, bolt and broke the actual rim. It's just a ring, it can be replaced, uh, but it needs uh, the wheel to come off in order to be able to change it. But it's fixable, that's the most important thing. And I bet, uh, I think, yeah, I think that's the problem actually. Uh, I think uh, who changed the tire uh, pinched the either the the tube or the tire because I cannot move them not the tube not the tire maybe I don't know I don't know it's gonna be obvious once I open it up but it's not gonna be today let's repack this I'll get the Hoover and get most of the dirt out and uh, we'll go from there. So that's it with the quick bolt line. I'm just gonna try and uh, squeeze a little bit, uh, tighten the screws from the, the front brake and the display because they kind of move around. Other than that, it is kind of finished. Until the new rim comes, I've got nothing to do to it. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.